So I wanted to give an update about what's happening, and there's a lot of exciting things happening. I think the biggest thing that's happening right now is we just finished an application for what we call a SPORE grant. So this is a grant from the National Cancer Institute. It's one of the biggest type of grants that one can get to do cancer research. And there's never been one for pediatric brain cancer. So it's really unique in that, in that context. So we paired up with the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia and the Children's Brain Tumor Network because they have a huge biorepository. And then PNOC, which is the best clinical trials group in the world, um, and, and came together and put together this, um, I think, amazing grant application. Um, it was 1,200 pages. We just put it in last Friday. If we get funded, um, it'll give us about 12 or 13, 1.2 to $1.3 million per year. But as part of that, we actually um, asked for dis additional resources from various institutions and um, have gotten almost um, another $2 million per year, or $2 million to $3 million added on top of that uh, grant. So, so if we get funded, so we hope we'll get funded, we'll see. Uh, there's a reasonably good chance. But what's been really important is that it, that started because of our working group strategy. So PNOC decided in October of last year to develop these working groups that were disease specific. And they include uh, medulloblastoma, high-grade glioma, low-grade glioma, ependymoma, um, cranial pharyngioma. We have a neuroimaging working group and now a diversity uh, and equity and inclusion working group. So this is all very exciting, but these working groups include scientists in the laboratory and in the clinic who've come together um, to think about each of those diseases very strategically and in a translational way um, to try and develop better therapies. So each one of the working groups has as their mission to develop at least one or two clinical trials on an ongoing basis based on good clinical preclinical evidence. So that's been a, an amazing process. Um, each of those working groups has 15 to 20. To, some of them have 30 members involved. Uh, I wanted to highlight one called the DMG Act, which is Diffuse Midline Glioma Working Group that Dr. Mueller runs. And that's involved with scientists from three different continents, um, many different laboratories, testing all kinds of new clinical drugs that we can uh, uh, put into a, a clinical trial. And now that clinical trial has been designed. And it's a unique, one of, one of a kind clinical trial in pediatric brain cancer because it involves three different pharmaceutical companies, three different drugs just to start with in combination, which rarely ever happens in pediatric brain cancer. And like our philosophy, you know, all of those children are gonna have tissue that's gonna help inform whether the therapies work or not. So we're very, very excited about that, that working group and that particular platform study um, for diffuse midline glioma. And actually we chose what they're doing as part of our SPORE application as well, because we're, we're very excited about that. But we're also very excited about new trials coming through for cranial pharyngioma, which is a very rare disease, and ependymoma, which is a high unmet need disease as well in children. Um, and the ependymoma um, working group um, is doing a lot of great research now, and the lead, one of the scientific leaders is now part of our SPORE. So, so all of these things have kind of come together. Um, and what's also been really great has been um, how the working groups have engaged advocacy and philanthropy. So, so some of the working groups, in fact, all of them now have advocacy groups that are embedded and patient groups embedded in their, in their meetings, which happen every other month or so depending on each working group. And some of them have now started to fund clinical trials. So now we have two clinical trials, for instance, in medulloblastoma that we couldn't get funded before that as a direct consequence of that working group. 
now has gotten funded. So we're really, really excited about that whole process, that whole strategy. I guess a couple of other things um, is that we now have uh, a, several new protocols that are opening and I guess the, the theme of these protocols are immunotherapy based protocols and um, using different kinds of vaccine strategies and immunology strategies using immunotherapeutics um, that are coming online and, and the, these will be opening soon. And I think the, the last thing that I wanted to say is that our global expansion is going very well. We, we just um, created a master agreement with the group um, in Israel. We're really excited about that. There's a group of hospitals there that we went to last year to, to visit. Um, really, really smart scientists and clinicians, and now they're part of PNOC. Um, and we're just about, just about ready to finish our, our master agreement with Israel, I'm, I'm with India, um, and then talking with a couple of other groups as well. So our global expansion is really going well. Uh, we've made agreements now with the Netherlands, uh, with Switzerland, with India, with Israel, um, and, and are talking with different groups such as Egypt and perhaps even in Russia. So, so that, that part is going well. And I think if we really engage those, company, those countries and those scientists with us, we'll be able to do our trials way more efficiently, a lot faster, and, and give access to those children who oftentimes don't have access to what we're doing. So it's a really exciting time in PNOC. It's a really busy time in PNOC. Um, and I think, I think um, the path forward is just, is just getting better and better. Um, and we really appreciate any help that you can provide. Um, and any information you want from us, please let us know.